Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Naramek. Welcome back to the 12 Days in Naramek. Now this is a little bit of a tradition we've done in a few of the past years, where we're getting towards the end of the year, and we will have a look back at, you know, the numbers and the cool stuff we've done in the year that we've just been through. And I thought this year, we've done a lot, so I feel as you know, it, it warrants the return of a video like this, so to say. And with that said, um, I think we want to be talking about things that, you know, have significantly changed the channel in the last year. We have a light. I know, if it was between either getting a webcam that was better in low light or buying a light, or maybe both, but I decided we'll buy the light, it's a bit scuffed, but I gotta say, it looks so much better. Like, you know, thumbnails, like, the difference is pretty notable, especially if I'm filming a little bit later in the evening, and it may just be me, but it feels as though, like, you know, the frames and whatnot, it just, it feels a bit quick, you know, it's not like any stuttering or whatnot, so, I love it, it's cool, but I know, and then that's the point of the juicy stuff you guys are here for. So, I'm going to speed through some of the more mundane stuff and get into more of the, the juicy bits uh, sooner. But in case you're wondering what this year in numbers was like for the channel, I'm going to go stick them here and read them out in the event that you are blind. So, in terms of views, we had 46,200-ish, uh, which is 84% more than we got last year. In terms of watch time, we hit 4.4 thousand watch hours, which is 33% more than we had last year. And... We had 308 new subscribers to the channel, which is 161% more than we had last year. So, um, yeah, green hours all around, and those percentages are like, if the lowest we have is only up by a third, I think we're doing something good, wouldn't you agree? Now, um, yes, in case uh, you're wondering about those last two more specifically, this is the second time we've hit 4,000 watch hours. First was back in 2020 at the peak of New Horizons fever, but, um, yeah, uh, we've successfully managed to hit 4,000 watch hours this year, and we also hit 1,000 subscribers, which is crazy to think about, you know, we're on 1,100 now, and, you know, we gained 300 in the last year. It's like, just 12 months ago, we were probably just closing in on 800, or maybe we just passed it. So to now be at 1,100, it's like, you know, we're almost at the point now where we are just on average gaining a subscriber a day, which is like, ugh. But, um, yeah, no, with all those combined together, it did mean that we were able to be monetized. Now, I know a few of you are probably very interested in stuff, so I'm going to be sticking stuff here. But, if you're wondering, we got monetized on the 1st of November, which means for roughly about two months or so worth of being monetized, we have earned a grand total of £19.79. Now, I believe one of those was from a super chat from a Halloween live stream I did, technically before ads went live, but generally, within two of it, like, just under two months, shall we say, £19.79, which to me, isn't too bad, you know? I'd be doing this anyway, to, just to be able to have that extra bit of money there. It's it, it's cool. I had to spell some scary forms, but it, it's cool. Um, in the event you're wondering kind of like the more like specific stuff about like the raw numbers, um, apparently for every 1,000 views I gain, I earn 41p, which seems kind of low. Um, I think that might just be because I got monetized um, recently, or maybe it's the type of content. Either way, I get, for every 1,000 views, I'm getting 41p, which I think that's real money instead of like, you know, this, that's after YouTube take their cut or whatnot. I know I technically earn higher, but at least get adjusted for like taxes and stuff. So um, yeah, every 1,000 views, I see 41p of all the adverts that get ran on there, which, which you know, is cool. I, I respect that. And um, yeah, uh, most of what you'll be seeing is just adverts. I, I decided against running memberships. I could have, but I don't really have anything of worth to stick on them. So um. Yeah, um, if any of the ad placement on any video seems excessive, by the way, let me know. Um, by and large, I've just let YouTube's automated system handle that because I don't trust myself to like stick them in the best spot, and so I just kind of let YouTube do it. Apparently, it detects where there's a break that's natural to stick an ad in. Um, but if there's any videos where you're like, this is bombarding me, let me know, and I can manually go in and tweak it. So, yeah, I got you guys. It's like you think I care about moving a few ads around when I'm earning like 41p per thousand views, and I will. I, I, got, I got you guys, that's alright. But, um, yeah, so that, that's kind of the raw numbers of it. It's quite boring, quite bland. But, there, there, that's, that's the key word. I know some of you have a question on your mind. What videos could you not monetize? Because we have close to 2,000 videos on the channel. How many of them weren't eligible for monetization? When I just clicked, try and enable on all these videos, or sign all those ads, how many did YouTube put their foot down and say, hold your horses? Well, thankfully, YouTube lets me filter by those. So if I was to just click on my page and, um, well, I'm going to click on not monetized first. I don't think there's many um, that I've purposely chose to have monetization off for. 
In fact, I think every single one of these in the tab, of which there is 52, are some that have just a level of copyright issues. Um, so that can be copyright free music I used way back in the beginning of the channel that later got licensed to a thing and I just couldn't monetize that. Um, the Guitar Hero Let's Play was hit quite badly. Um, as though anyone was actively watching it. Still a good series. And a few of the GTA 5 videos, where the whole gimmick was, oh, I'm not gonna be monetized for a while, I'll drive around with the radio on, what's the worst that can happen? Blocked in Russia, and uneligible for monetization. But overall, for 52 videos out of 2,000, I don't think that's particularly too bad. I think the one that stings the most to me is probably um, the Sonic Frontiers um, finale and then the finale to Sonic Unleashed DLC, and the review of Sonic Unleashed. I don't know what it is with Sega, and like, you know, things I've made on their game, but for some reason, seemingly the credits music, or like opening themes for a few of their games, they're just like... Right, they haven't got me on Persona yet, but I'm, I'm waiting for it. But um, yeah, no, like those are the only ones that really bum me. Um, the rest of them, it's like, okay, yeah, 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 this is all copyright. It, it, to be fair, there's nothing that I had to like go in and be like, this, this is you, you're wrong here. So um, that's stuff that I was pretty much just copyright blocked from monetizing, which is fair enough. You know, I've been quite lax on that in the past in the channel. That doesn't really bother me. But that's not being demonetized, and I know some of you are very interested as to what could possibly constitute being demonetized. Um, apparently. The answer is uh, content from pre-2018. Uh, because, um, shockingly, out of 2,000 videos, YouTube only put their foot down and said 14 of these do not match our advertiser guidelines. And I'm going to stick all but one of them, I think, on screen right now. And I'm going to let you try and guess why they were blocked. Because some of these, I don't know. And some of these, it's just like... Yeah. If I look at the date it was published, it's like... Yeah, it's like, God, I wonder why this innocuous coffee video of me is demonetized that, you know, is generally liked by members of my community, even though it's really old. Oh, <laughs> I'll take it. And again, that's limited ads, so they can run it. it, just might be a bit more of the, you know, edgier stuff. But again, in terms of being monetized, to have 14 out of close to 2,000 videos, and only those, <laughs> be the ones where YouTube are like, and I, I respect that. Which is like, you know, that still leaves a what, 1,800, 1,900 videos, which were all perfectly fine. I would argue some of those aren't perfectly fine, but I'm not gonna point out which ones! That can be a fun game between me and the YouTube moderation team. Also, as just an aside thing, I only have one video that's ever got, like, age restricted by YouTube automatically. Which seems weird, especially because, like, I would have thought something like Virtue's Last Award would have maybe set that system off way back when, but apparently not. Um, also, as a really fun additional point that I've thought, um, it's really funny that I only have 14 videos that have been demonetized. Most of them from years and years ago, um, where, you know, I was a bit more lax with doing stuff that maybe would have flagged, because it's like, 2017 me, he didn't really care. He didn't really think he was going to get that, whereas me now, a bit more cautious with it. But I find that, like, even as of, like, late, I'll still happily say fuck in a video. But it seems like bigger YouTubers, they're, like, they're, they're terrified of that, you know? Or like Matt Pack will throw in the H-E double hockey sticks instead of just saying hell like a man. Which I always find really weird, because I can say that and get away with that. You know, like, this will be ran through YouTube's, YouTube's auto-caption and they'll be like, yep, safe for kids. Whereas with me, <laughs> or should I say them, it's like, oh, oh, he said hell once and the coal mines. They're the one for YouTube to pick up on. I, just, I find that really weird. I don't know if the standards are just like different for small channels. It's like, oh, it's a small channel. It fell under our radar if they get, actually get called out on that. Or maybe like they pay out better rates to bigger creators. They just d care less about which of my videos are monetized. Unless it's Coffee with Neremic, apparently. That one they just had it out for. I also want to give a quick mention to Neremic 2. This year, despite having, I would argue, somehow a worse upload schedule than last year, most of which were not on brand with what the channel was meant to be at all, which did insanely well. In fact, my best performing video of the year is something I spat out at the end of January, delayed by a month, mind you, um, talking about Pocket Camp. Um, like, Neremic 2 is insane. The fact that that is also eligible for monetization if it was to get a thousand subs out of nowhere is is very weird to me, but in a way it's really funny. Um, do keep your eyes peeled for that though, um, because I am desperately trying to work to get possibly two end of year videos out on that. Which you might think is insane, given there's like a week left in the year, but... I know those of you that have been with the channel a while know just how very possible that is for me to pull off, so keep your eyes peeled for that little bit of a teaser. 
Um, but I think to kind of round this video out, um, I just want to say I'm like really thankful to be in this position to to make a video multiple times and every time. You know, I'm saying thank you, but the thing I'm saying thank you for has just increased, 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 and it's never gone down. And and there's never. It, it sounds bad, but there's never been a video where I've gone thank you regardless, even though this year was substantially worse. We haven't had to do that. I've just been saying thank you for stuff that's getting better and better and better, and more how fortunate I am to be in that position. And it's like, yeah, I, I know a thousand subscribers isn't like, you know, this huge thing, but especially when you compare it with like, you know, the like leaders on the platform. But in terms of relativity, it's like, you know, I don't know anyone else in real life, like my local area that has a thousand subscribers, you know? Like it's um it's a bigger world than like, you know, kind of the very like small scope of the internet would have you believe. So, um, yeah, no, hitting a thousand subs this year was just insane. And we made some content this year, which I'm really genuinely proud of. You know, Neuramic 2, I'll admit, doing pretty alright, even if the upload schedule is abysmal. I'll give myself a slap and get work to, uh, Persona 4, I guess. But, like, um, seriously, I've loved editing some of the 12 Days videos, the Fortnite videos we've done this last week. Mwah! Um, that FNAF 2 footage from April I got out this week as well. I don't know why I procrastinated that one, but, you know, that was sick. Tomodachi Life been bleeding love in that when Vegas isn't crashing while editing. And of course the Wii videos, they've been really fun. I think they've been a massive driving force behind, you know, this channel's growth. Um, I did not anticipate when we made a, you know, just kind of a Rye video last year going, oh shit, I need to fill a You know, it's like, oh, uh, Wii Bowling. You know, I didn't expect that to have like a knock-on effect that would just then create, you know, whatever the hell this year was. Because I'm aware that was like, you know, th that was one of the things pushing us forward, but you know, I'm, I'm just genuinely grateful that everyone is here for different stuff, even if some stuff's more popular than others. It's like, if you told me ages ago that I can be scrolling through my thing right now, and a, you know, I'm not seeing many videos that are below 10 views, and most of them are, you know, they're pushing past 20 views. Have the occasional one that's like, you know, like a little bit below, maybe falls, you know, it is what it is. But it's like, to see videos consistently getting above 20 views, and to be able to scroll through here and see view counts, you know, that's like 140, 200, you know, 300 every now and then, and it's like, a few years ago, before 2020, that would have been insane because those things would have been on the first page. When I filter by most views, they would have been there, you know, after the obvious front runners. Whereas now, they're on page two. Uh, they're on page three. But, but I still don't think I've, you know, adapted to the fact that maybe we're just doing that a little bit better. So seeing a video with 100 views, it's like, oh, I'm onto something here. And it's like, you know, to, to you guys, it managed to be business as usual. It's like, oh yeah, you know, of course bowling's gonna get 100 views. Whereas me, it's like, you know, I, I feel as though in a way I haven't caught up. And that just kind of makes the excitement of it all. I'm not sure if you guys get it, but it feels amplified in like a really cool sort of way. And I genuinely just feel super appreciative of that. And again, the fact that we've had um, you know, a lot of community engagement this year, you know that live stream we did um, for Halloween? Amazing. Um, you guys in the comments that frequently show up, I'm sure you know who you are. Amazing. Um, some of actually life, of course, I've had some of my real friends in there. Um, pushing those people commenting and being invested in that, regardless of the fact they don't have a me in that series. It's like, it, it, it's been super cool, and I, I just feel really fortunate to do this. Um, I think I've said this a lot of times, but I think I want to say it in a more central video. There was a high chance I wasn't going to be doing YouTube um, these last few years. Um, the way I decided to do university was heavily informed by the fact that I did want to keep sticking at this. Um, especially just after our success of New Horizons, it's like, you know, you know, I could have gone to some fancy university, and it could be, you know, studying at a very prestigious, you know, programming course or what have you. Um, part of me um, didn't want to do that, though. It just didn't feel right for me. There's a lot of other factors, of course, but... One of them was that I wanted to stick with this, just to, just to see where it went, you know? And, you know, to some people, just getting into a thousand subs isn't that, isn't all that, you know? It's like, you know, you changed your choice of university partially so you could stick around on YouTube out a little bit longer and get to a four-digit sub count instead of a three-digit sub count. And you, they must not say it's worth it. But to me, it's like every single one of these videos I can look back on in years from now and just kind of smile at. It's like I'm going to be doing this from years from now anyway. But to be able to keep up, you know, the daily streak and all that stuff, Neuramic 2, to me, I think it was a no-brainer that I ended up doing university the way I have because I'm still going to get my qualification. But while I've been able to, you know, study towards that, I've also been able to keep chasing after this goal. 
and I feel as though this year was kind of the moment, the moment, you know, I think it was September, no, November even 2nd, where I saw that just those first pennies start to be displayed as, oh, this is processing for your AdSense payment, it was like, that to me validated all of this, because it was never about the money, but I think the fact that we were at the point where YouTube were like, yeah, you're doing well enough to the point where maybe we should pay you. I, th I think, you know, that to me, especially after a bunch of years, especially in high school, like kids are cruel. And like if, if you're in high school and you have a YouTube channel, you might be able to relate to this. After years of getting grief for being a, you know, the cringe game, uh, Minecrafty YouTuber kid, to see that being validated, even if it was by like 5p, or whatever it was, is is really cool. Um, maybe not to everyone, but to me, just know it means the absolute effing world. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> try and keep this uh, upload streak going as long as I can. Well, you know how it is. And um, yeah, I do not know what the upcoming year will hold. I will probably be moving house, so say farewells to this very iconic backdrop. I deeply apologize about the fact that the lighting hasn't been stellar this year. It is how it is. But, um, yeah, I don't know what this year holds, or should I say the year to come holds, but I will do my damnedest to make sure I'm able to stick at this. You know, if I gotta move, find a place where recording isn't gonna get me any noise complaints or funny looks or whatnot, and we just keep at it. And maybe we have to formally break the streak because, you know, I'm moving. But, I like to think next year I'm able to make another one of these. And maybe we haven't uploaded as many videos as we have this year, or whatnot. But I like to think that I'm able to upload one of these and say, you know what? I've got a job, I've moved house, and I'm still doing this, and that's what I'm chuffed about. And you know what? So be it. Um, maybe I'm rambling, but um, yeah. Um, absolutely amazing year. Hope to have an amazing year next year, and still be able to keep this frequently. Um, after I graduate and go out into the uh, the world for reals this time. So, um, yeah. Um, thank you once again for your insane support. Genuinely means the world. Um, even if it doesn't seem like it's all that much, it does. And until next time, a lot said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name has been Aramic and Peace. Out.